In this video, you will be introduced to advanced ceramics based on composition, which includes the carbide and oxide ceramics. This topic will be presented by Marjan Vergara and Rona Joy Kalansag. Carbide ceramics and oxide ceramics are advanced material characterized by unique properties and composition. Carbide ceramics, including silicon carbide, possesses remarkable mechanical strength, hardness, and resistance to high temperatures, abrasion, and corrosion. Conversely, oxide ceramics such as alumina and zirconia are renowned for their high temperature insulation capabilities and dimensional stability. The exceptional properties of carbide ceramics have led to their application in mechanical engineering, chemical and power engineering, microelectronics, and space engineering. They are particular, particularly suitable for structural application where strength and durability are paramount. Oxide ceramics, on the other hand, are extensively utilized in high temperature thermal and electrical insulation application. Both carbide ceramics and oxide ceramics fall into the categories of structural, tool, and functional ceramics. Structural ceramics, including carbide ceramics, are employed in demanding mechanical applications that require high strength, hardness, and thermal conductivity. Tool ceramics and find use in cutting tools and wear resistant components due to their superior hardness and wear resistance. Functional ceramics, exemplified by oxide ceramics, possess specialized properties tailored for specific functions such as high temperature insulation and electrical conductivity. Recent, recent advancements in the field have expanded the application of carbide ceramics and oxide ceramics. Researchers have focused on synthesizing novel carbide ceramics with enhanced properties, optimizing oxide ceramics for biomedical application, exploring additive manufacturing technique for carbide ceramics, and developing oxide ceramics for storage, energy storage purpose. This recent application encompasses the utilization of carbide ceramics in aerospace component, automotive brake system, and high temperature electronics. Oxide ceramics have found new application in biomedical implants, solid oxide fuel cells, and energy storage devices. These advancements signify the growing range of application of carbide ceramics and oxide ceramics across diverse industries. For the chemical and microstructure of the material, Figure 4 shows typical microstructure of SND and SLU specimens taken on planes perpendicular to the hot pressing direction. There is no observable difference in the microstructure parallel and perpendicular to the hot pressing direction in the SND specimen. This is an illustration for the covalent bond silicon carbide. Covalently bound silicon carbide is a hard substance, a silicon atom and a four carbon atoms which are covalently bound between the two of them. Make up of the compound of silicon carbide, a non-oxide ceramic engineering material that has attracted a lot of interest in silicon carbide. Here is an example for the microstructure of an oxide ceramics. Oxide ceramics are defined as an organic compounds of metallic or metallic elements such as aluminum, zirconium, titanium, magnesium, and silicon with oxygen. The left figure shows the microstructure of a zircon toughened alumina with a low proportion of zirconium oxide. For the synthesis process, Silicon carbide and boron carbide, these are two more ceramic carbides which also have high hardness and very resistant characteristics. Despite the fact that they share in terms of mechanical characteristics, hard metals vary substantially from one another. Chemical and physical makeup. Unlike soft metals, which often have interstitial compound of covalent bonds that hold silicon carbide, metal and carbon together. Ceramic carbides are currently producing using energy intensive techniques. Most carbides are generated by reacting metal or oxide particles with a catalyst relatively high temperatures up to 1500 degrees Celsius origin of carbon. The reduction of the carbides generally necessitates extensive milling processes or later usage, fine powder. Meanwhile, a series of metal oxide ceramics were successfully created using a detonation technique based on 246 trinitrotoline trotoline or TNT, which was utilized as an energetic reagent. Compared to the energetic chemicals often employed in these operations, 
TNT has superior fish chemical and chemical qualities, making it safer to handle and transport. The experiment, which included combining an energetic chemical with a ceramic salt, was straightforward. These are the characterization techniques for the silicon carbide, which in list first is the gravimetric analysis. We have here the thermogravimetric analyzer. The next one is the uh, handheld XRF spectrometer used for the image analysis. We have here the optical mic microscope, then the scanning electron microscope. Then for the oxide ceramics, first we have here for testing the thermal conductivity, thermal conductivity tester, then the dilatometry and thermal expansion machine for the thermal expansion. Then Viker hardness test for the micro hardness, the permeability meter for the permeability of samples of the ceramics we have here for the carbide ceramics. Carbide ceramics are extremely resistant against high temperature, abrasion, and corrosion. They have a high thermal and variability for the electroconductivity. And for the oxide ceramics, high temperature strength, high thermal shock and free persistence high dimensional stability, low thermal expansion coefficient, and a good dielectric properties. For the related studies from 2013 up to the present, we have here the synthesis and properties of double carbide ceramics, which is in 2013, a study was published in the Journal of European Ceramics Society, reported in the synthesis and properties of a new family of carbide ceramics called ternary carbides. The researchers found that these materials exhibit high hardness, fracture toughness, and thermal stability, making them promising candidates for high temperature applications. For the next, we have the optimization of oxide ceramics for biomedical applications. In 2015, a study published in the Journal of Biomedicine applied biomed biomaterials reported on the optimization of yttria-based zirconia or YSZ ceramics for the use of dental implants. The researchers found that by adjusting the microstructure and surface properties of the ceramics, they could improve their biocompatibility and mechanical stability. The next one, we have the fabrication of carbide ceramics using additive manufacturing. In 2017, a study published in the Journal of Material Science reported on the fabrication of silicon carbide ceramics using a novel additive manufacturing technique called the direct ink writing. The researchers found that this technique allowed the precise control of the microstructure and properties of ceramics, enabling the production of complex shapes and structures. Another one is the development of oxide ceramics for energy storage. In 2020, a study published in the Journal of Materials Chemistry A reported on the development of new oxide ceramics for use as electrodes in the sodium ion batteries. The researchers found that by optimizing the composition and structure of ceramics, they could improve their electrochemical performance, making them a promising alternative to conventional lithium-ion batteries. For the annual production costs for the application of advanced ceramics, TUSIX incorporated a global leader in engineered materials and optoelectric components, is a vertically integrated manufacturing company that develops innovative products for diversified applications in communications, industrial, aerospace, and defense. Also in semiconductors, capital equipment, life sciences, consumer electronics, and automotive mar markets. Headquarters in Saxonburg, Pennsylvania, the company has research and development, manufacturing sales, service, and distribution facilities worldwide. According to the data they have, an annual cost of approximately $1 billion considering the electrification and transformation, transportation infrastructure and acquired differentiated XP tactile and ion implantation capabilities license key IP from General Electric. And at the same time, according to their other result about the annual production of oxide ceramics, since oxide ceramics require much lower energy consumption, they estimated to be at $839 million. In conclusion, the unique properties of carbide ceramics and oxide ceramics make them invaluable in a wide array of applications. Ongoing research and innovation are continuously improving 
their properties and opening up new application areas, leading to advancement in sectors such as aerospace, automotive, biomedical, and energy. For their exploration of these materials holds great potential for the future utilization and development. That will be all and these are the references used in our report. For the experiences that we have as a fourth year the ceramic engineering. At first, well, it was a hell of a ride, right? But along the way, make it more more memorable and it's easier for you to go to school in, in France for now that we're going to graduate. It it makes us uh, be thankful for everything that we have from day one up to the last day. So ceramic engineering molded us to be someone better and someone a long time ago was just a dream. Along the way, we made new friends and eventually we reached our academy. We also meet professors which guide us to be a better person and to have more knowledge about everything around us and everything under the sun. We experience a lot of difficulties and this is for us to be mold and help us conquer our future endeavors that help us be someone for whom a long time just picture out in our dreams. Wake up one day and be the person. Thank you for the experience so hi IIT. My experience as a ceramic engineering student Embarking on my journey as a ceramic engineering student, I was initially faced with challenge of adjusting to a new environment. The complexities of the subject matter seemed overwhelming and I struggled to find my footing. However, fueled by my curiosity and desire to explore the world of ceramic engineering, I preserved and soon began to appreciate the intricacy of this fascinating field. One aspect of my education that has been integral to my growth as a student is the extensive in laboratory work. Through hands-on experimentation, I gain practical knowledge and deeper understanding of the concept learned in the classroom. Calculating formulated ceramic bodies became second nature as I delved into nuances of glass batch calculation and the glaze batch calculation. These skills allowed me to manipulate and control composition of ceramic materials, shaping their properties and ultimately influencing the final, influencing the final plan. During my studies, I also delved into the importance of practice such as porosity, density, viscosity, and moisture contents in ceramics, and so on. Understanding how these properties impact the functionality and quality of the end product was significant revelation. I grasped the intricate balance between these properties and their influence of, on the performance and durability of the ceramic materials in the real-world application. One of the most memorable experiences of my academic journey was in an internship at, at HTI Company in Cavite, Philippines. This opportunity provided me with invaluable, invaluable exposure to the practical application of ceramic engineering in the industry. I witnessed the first hand how the knowledge and skills I have acquired in the classroom translated into real-life scenarios. It was an eye-opening experience that reinforced the importance of bridging the gap between the theory and practice. Reflecting on my time as a ceramic engineering student, I am filled with sense of accomplishment and gratitude. The struggle I initially faced paved the way for personal growth and newfound passion for this discipline. From the laboratory experiment to the internship, each experience added a layer depth to my understanding of ceramic engineering. As I look forward, as I look forward to the It has shaped me into a resilient and agile professional ready to embark on a fulfilling career in this ever-evolving field.